Welcome everyone to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. New game, yes. The reason I'm starting in this flag mode is because through that I'll get, be able to get 1080p videos. You can make shadow play. It's a little clever trick. It can work in any game. That's because shadow play can record desktop. It's Harry Potter lived at number four to a game. Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room, and even though he is a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening, a house elf named Dobby appeared. It's just temporary, the graphical bugs, or the cinematic. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts, he will be in mortal danger! Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before travelling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister, Ginny, and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author, Gilderoy Lockhart, was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not! It is! It's Harry Potter! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. How oh, nice, Malfoy. This is on an SSD, by the way. For some reason, the loading times in this game are long. Don't ask me why, but still. And there we go, graphical issues fixed. Hurry! We've missed the train! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. Okay, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Uh-oh, I think the car's cutting out. Come on, car. Yep, Come performance on. issues. Hey, I just installed this thing. The fact that it's even running on a modern system. With no major issues. Sure, there's performance problems, loading screen problems, graphical glitches and whatnot, but still. The game is running. Without me having to do anything crazy. Which is more than I can say for the GameCube Stop! version. Stop! Stop! 
probably those performance issues will go away here. Run! Run! Where are you? Over here, Harry! The Whomping Willow's got me! Don't worry, Ron! I'll come and get you! Just hold on! I can't do anything else! Hurry up, Harry! Subtitles, though. Nope, no option there. Chess with the Alahamora spell. To cast a spell, press and hold. Yeah, I don't need you. <laughs> to climb over low walls, I just have to walk uh, into them. I can use uh, this garden uh, as a target to activate the Lunar spell. This is a save book. Walk I know, thank you. Nintendo! Well, graphical issues not outstanding. I bet I can pass the Pendle on that luggage. Nintendo! Push it to that ledge. Uh, uh, uh. Hurry! This branch is squeezing me like a snake! Chocolate frog. Chocolate frogs replenish some. All right, I'm not interested in that. Yeah, skipping this. can open up magically. Okay, I am well aware. Good job, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendo on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. Flipendo! Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, no! Come back! Great. My dad won't be happy that I lost his flying car. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. You mean... Not only does Lumos cast light, it also reveals magically hidden things. To jump. Run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Try collecting the beans on all the ledges, Harry! Those are Bertie Bot's every flavour beans. I should collect as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. Harry, you need to get onto this ledge over here! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cast Flapendo to push the block towards me, and then... You need to jump to this ledge. Well, that's all well and good. Secrets abound. Well, they added strafing in this game. This is a bronze. Uh, 
Oh man, after that torture I endured with the first game to actually on GameCube, to play this on a PC is like a balm, really, to soothe my wounds. God, it handles so much fucking. The rain has stopped. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on, we'd better get up to the school. You know, they actually did get caught by Snape of all people. Uh, they, they got shooed at. Stars. Uh, stars, Harry. Interesting concept. With the exception, there are no stars. I like how there's continuity, though, the first game in terms of I spells. Like, didn't get lost. They. They expect you to know what these spells do and how to use them. And if you don't, well, there's a short tutorial to catch you up to speed. Keep in mind, this is a game for children, and they treat you with considerably less condescension than games for adults do these days in their tutorials. Remember when EA tried to uh, thought the uh, fight its consumers were not complete themselves? Yeah. Or game companies in general? It does speak volumes, just saying. Now there is a way to open that, I just don't have it. It's uh... There, I'm just gonna explore a bit, because I know there are secrets around here and I just wanna get as many of them as it's I can. It's a nice can. night now, the rain has stopped. Mind if I spell you'll get uh, quite early on. Not so much truth in Oddly though, well it's not incendio, it's defend though I believe. You actually do retain it, then you. I believe that's one of the things they got rid of. You have Luma, Salamora, Flapendo, but you don't have Incendio, I think. <laughs> that said, you do have new spells. I'm not sure about Vanguardium Leviosa. Was it in this game? I, think. I don't think so. No. I can't get out that way. Yeah, Luma statue and all that. Uh. All well and good. The Gryffindor dormitory is just over here to the right, remember? People were complaining about the aiming on PC in some reviews. It's like, are you mad? I mean, I guess some console scrubs can't, uh, don't, wouldn't know to aim with a mouse even to save their own. This is the hearts. house point ceremony chamber. Yep. So house points are actually relevant. Ah. My bad. I don't want to die. I'm just trying to. Uh, trying to get all of those. Spongify is a spell you'll get, like, it's the first lesson. Thank you. 
Hey, the con uh, the console version might have better graphics. Not sure about gameplay though. I I'm, I may not even play the console version <laughs> if, if it really if it's similar to the first game. I won't touch it. I mean, I'll try it, but fuck me. I'm gonna bother with that again. Well, I won't be getting up there, I can tell you that for a fact. Three out of twelve? <laughs> okay. No overly long a bullshit animation to be able to pick up cards, no nonsense, good controls. This is the bed. The, the, the dormitory is up here, Harry! Better game, really. Okay, the first game could probably be skipped, even on PC, I'll admit that. This one, though. Finally, there's the portrait of the pink lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please. We're tired. Could you just tell us what the password is? Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. The portraits don't there actually have sentience. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bot's Every Flavor Beans. Fred, myself and several of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? They're hidden all over the place. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. Uh-huh. It'll be a pleasure doing business with you, I'm sure. Yes. And I probably should just lower the music volume to about 30. And the sound volume a bit. Yeah, there we go. Music was a bit too loud. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor heroes due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. Good morning, Harry! It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor. Follow us. Uh-huh. I smell a fangirl. Oh yes, Hermione absolutely was a fangirl. There's the portrait of the Gryffindor common room. Hello there, young Potter. Heading for the common room, are we? Yeah, portraits don't really have sentience, it's uh, just magical bullshit. <laughs> to make them act like that. No time to talk now, Harry. Uh. Percy. Well, I'll actually get into the lesson before pausing. I just want to save here, just in case.
Harry, Defence Against the Dark Arts is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. Oh, hooray. Hi, would you consider a trade? Well, that's one of the annoying aspects here. Hi, would you could What do you have? I have flubberworm mucus for a limited time only. Press on the yes button to accept the trade or the no button to decline. As you wish, but these are becoming hard to find. I won't bother with this right now. And there's a damn good reason behind it. It's not worth spending that on flubber worm because you should keep your beans for... Well, hey Nick. Hello, Harry. Oh, hello, Nick. Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. You can't Here's this a, a secret. special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, You'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 Silver Wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds. Mm-hmm. No need to wait for staircases anymore. Forgotten about this place. That particular secret. Yeah, anyway, let's keep moving. There is a secret area behind that, by the way. This makes sense, the infirmary on the top floor, right? By the way. It's like, yeah, you know, if we have someone injured, we have to carry him all, all the way here. Just saying, it's incredibly stupid. 
Bronze ones increase your health, if I remember. Nintendo! Nintendo! The cauldrons are for... The steaming cauldrons are for potions. Healing potions in particular. I did remember there being a secret. Door. But it's not there. Hmm. Oh, wait. You need to use Spongify, if I remember, and it will lead you. Or it's through here. I call something anyway. Ugh. Don't want to fall down to my death. You remember where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash, and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter and a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. <sighs> What was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. I must have been hearing things. Manual labor in a universe where magic could do all of it. And you literally have slaves. No, really. Uh, uh, Hogwarts has slaves. For all the revisionist bullshit trolling engaged in and trying to make the Hogwarts staff look better, that they did have high salts. Score for Harry Potter, right? This is Dumbledore's place. Hmm. Kind of feel I should actually go and save, but still. Fuck it, I will go and save. Yeah, Quasine here on Serious Gaming, Sonia, before I begin the lesson. This. 